But first, big news in the COVID-19 fight for families. The FDA just gave the green light for kids as young as 12 years old to receive Pfizer's vaccine. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jameson Euler. The agency says kids could soon get that shot by this Thursday, though a CDC panel has to sign off on it first. ABC Action News reporter Haley Bull is going in depth on today's news and learning what Floridians can expect next. We reached out to the state to find out what the process will look like for 12 to 15 year olds going forward and haven't heard back just yet. But while parents consider the vaccination, the FDA says one part to building confidence is transparency. While many receive a COVID-19 vaccine, 14 year old Emmett Allen is eager to get his shot. It really enforces that um, herd immunity type thing, um, especially in high schools. Now his turn is almost here. The FDA authorizing Pfizer's vaccine in people 12 through 15 years old. The company says a study showed 100% efficacy in that age group. Then I'll worry a little bit less about him him getting it. Um, so I think it'll give him a lot more freedom. It's for the same dosage and regimen as those 16 and older. The uh, countermeasures acceleration group that that's the group that's helping to distribute the vaccine. They understand this need for appropriate storage of this and they will be ensuring that there are a sufficient number, number of pharmacies, uh, health centers that will be able to distribute this probably by later on this week. A recent Kaiser Family Foundation survey looked at parents' theoretical intentions for their kids 12 to 15 years old. We're at the starting point of where we were back in December, right? When we started vaccine outreach and distribution for adults. It found three in 10 parents of kids 12 to 15 say they'll get their child vaccinated right away once the vaccine is authorized. We turn to University of Florida's Dr. Kathleen Ryan speaking about the potential impact ahead of the authorization. So kids are losing out on school because they have to stay home during their quarantine period. If you're vaccinated, you won't have to do that. Um, in the older age groups, we do see this rare um, multi-system inflammatory disorder in kids. Um, it'll protect against that. Um, and it will help protect the community. For the Allens, the plan is to get through AP testing, then get in line for a shot. It's going to be most effective if the majority of the population ends up getting the vaccine. A CDC advisory panel is scheduled to meet Wednesday to discuss recommendations for this vaccine, too. We'll, of course, keep you updated. Reporting in Tampa, Haley Bull, ABC Action News.